What can wash away our sins? My sins, your sins, our sins. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. The blood that was shed on Calvary Cross. The blood that brought salvation. The Bible says without the shedding of blood, there is no remission. There is no remission. Forgiveness of sin. Uh, we had forgiveness through the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood, yes. Oh, what can work? Mm. 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 What can wash away my sins? Nothing but the blood of God of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. And all precious is. Oh, that makes me white. Let us know no, no, uh, uh, the films I know. Nothing but the blood, the blood, the blood of Jesus. Oh, it's all about the blood. That was shed on Calvary Cross. The Bible said he overcame him by the blood. Oh, yes. Mm -mm. Oh my God, it is. I see nothing but the blood, of the blood of Jesus. Oh my, I bleed nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, brush your face. A Florida that makes me white as no that I found has not found nothing the blood of Jesus. Oh yes. Oh yes, the blood, the shed blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The blood that was shed on Calvary Cross. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is all my hope and peace. This is our peace. Our peace is in the blood of Jesus. Nothing but the blood. Oh yes. This is all my righteousness. Nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. And oh, precious is the flow that makes me white, white as snow. No other film. I know there is nothing but the blood, the blood of Jesus. It's all about the blood of Jesus Christ. The blood that was shed on Calvary Cross. The blood that brought salvation on us. Jesus said it is finished. Oh yes, it is all about Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we want to thank you. We bless when you. We, first we give you praise Jesus, and we give you glory. We thank you for yet another day. Father, come and speak to us. Minister to us in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And once again, children of God, people of God, saints of Jehovah, we bring you greetings from God, the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause His face to shine upon you and give you peace. Remember, somebody sang a song. We are marching to Zion. Beautiful, beautiful Zion. We marching up west to Zion. A beautiful city, a city of God. Come ye that love the Lord and let your joy be known. Come in with a song 
we sweet accord. Join in a song, we sweet accord. And I'll, I'll surround the throne, and I'll surround the throne. We march in to Zion. We are on our way to Zion. A place that God has prepared heaven. Somebody say, I don't believe it. He hears it and he will laugh. <laughs> Mama Fe said, you laugh and enter the women's bathroom. Laugh. Think it that we are joking. We don't know what we are saying. Listen to me. <laughs> Listen to me, somebody. We have seen the hand of Jehovah. We don't come to you to lie to you. We come to you with the word of God. That one day our Jesus is coming. There is heaven. There is hell. Whether you believe it, you can disbelieve it. You can throw it away. You can run away, but you cannot hide. Because whether you believe it or not, the Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. And after that, the church went. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister, child of God, that you will not disappoint yourself. <laughs> Anytime you see somebody saying, I die, no. Meaning that he had every opportunity. You had every right to choose what is right. But in your decision making you make or you, know, you chose wrong. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you begin to choose right. Jesus will come. <laughs> there are many, many, when you go to the YouTube, many people who have seen the end time. Yes, you don't believe it. Jesus said it. Every parable of Jesus was towards the end time. The Bible said that Jesus that you see being raptured will come the same way. Yes, you don't believe. Nothing can convince you. But I pray that you encounter Jesus. I pray that you encounter Jesus. One day our Jesus will come. Somebody asked me for long that they said Jesus is coming, but he has not come. I say, yes, nobody knows the time. The Bible says that he will come like a thief. He will come unannounced. Nobody knows. But he will come. He is waiting for you to go ahead. Change and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. You can die anytime. You can leave this world anytime. And when you leave this world, your end has come. May you not be in a situation that you regret. Recently, I was listening to a young Muslim guy. He says that when they see we Christians, especially we that preach the kingdom of God and about Jesus, they laugh, they laugh to scorn. They think that we don't know anything until he himself encountered the Lord and God revealed everything to him. Everything the guy was saying was from the Bible. Yes, sir. Somebody said, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I believe somebody. Continue to sit down and fill yourself with excuses. Fill yourself. One day, the heaven will rain. The Bible said, with a trickle of a night. Trickle of a night. Let me go read Thessalonians. Second Thessalonians. Oh, sorry, I'll open Timothy. Let me go back and read Thessalonians. First Thessalonians chapter 4. And somebody hear the word of God. Hear and you know that one day our Jesus. First Thessalonians 4 verse 16. He said, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout. With the voice of archangels. And with a trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them that are in the clouds to meet the Lord Jesus in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. Our Jesus will come. Again, our Jesus will come. The Bible says He's coming. And He has His reward in His hand. Let's go again. And let me read First Corinthians 15. And I'll read verse 52. He said, In a moment, in a twinkle of an eye, at the last trumpet, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall rise, incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Oh my God. <laughs> it takes the wise, it takes people who have the spirit of God to understand. And you'll be an abetiasia. No problem with that. And you'll be an abetiasia. No, not everybody. Jesus does not come for everybody. The Bible says he, he, he came for his own. But his own receive him not. But as many that receive him, he gave us power. I thank God that um, somebody like me, <laughs> that he has even helped me to know. I've never paid a time. 
it was given to me and that is my thanks every day every moment i thank god for knowing him let me read the last scripture i'm going to read us of the apostle chapter 1 and the verse 9 the bible says that and when he has spoken these things while they they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apron which also said ye men of galilee why stand stand ye gazing up into heaven this same jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go to heaven our jesus will come one day and he'll come and rapture those who are prepared not every everyone that says lord lord not everyone that says lord lord will enter into the kingdom of god but they that do the will of father the battle belongs to god a child of god listen to me in this life you cannot fight your battle hey because the bible says for we wrestle not against flesh and blood we are not fighting against flesh and blood we are fighting against principalities and powers against demonic forces evil forces spiritual wickedness in high places they are very wicked they are very wicked jesus bear the dust to us that the thief cometh not but to, to kill to steal and to destroy all that the devil wants is to kill and to destroy but jesus said i come that you may have life and have it abundantly let me ask you woman listen to me man what is your trouble what are you going through what is your pain come to jesus come to jesus give your life to jesus hey jesus said behold he says for i am with you i will uphold you with my right hand of righteousness he will uphold us our jesus will uphold us all you need to do is to find your place in the lord jesus christ find your place give your life to jesus and he will make it whole hallelujah give your life to jesus he will never disappoint you let's go we started a story second chronicles second chronicles chapter 20 and the verse one going the bible says that jehoshaphat and his men were there and all of a sudden a nation not one nation nations listen to me my brother hey you don't go in for trouble trouble will visit you as you mind your business as you sit down thinking about how you're going to succeed how you're going to move forward somebody have time to sit down to also think about how he's going to destroy you how you are going to fall how you you are going to be broken down <laughs> that is why you have to stand up in the power of the holy ghost joseph knew nothing all he knew was somebody coming to tell him that the nations have gathered themselves coming to destroy i don't know what is fighting against you i don't know the forces that secretly waging war against your life against your husband against your wife against your children against your country but somebody sang a song and says stand up stand up for jesus he suggests of the cross lift up his royal banner it must not suffer loss from victory unto victory do you know in exodus 17 the bible says that the enemy the, the nations came and fought judah israel on the mountain of refidom moses have to climb the mountain and when he got weak and come down israel were feeling i don't know how you are feeling i don't know how you are being dispersed and how your life has been on the course of retrogression instead of your life going forward ever it has been going backwards it is not normal stand up in the power of the holy ghost and begin to shake yourself pray and do the will of god the battle belongs to god moses hand was getting tired and he has to call for help <laughs> he has to call for help and by them holding his son his hand was higher 
he continued to win. Listen to me. The spiritual application is that so long as you continue to pray. I am not talking about sitting down every day and 24 hours 7 and, and praying. Continue your normal business. But let prayer be in your heart and in your soul, your spirit, and continue. You win this battle. You win this battle. I have never seen any prayerful woman, prayerful man. I have never seen any prayerful home that have lost this battle. You never lose this battle. You win. Whether the devil like it or not, whether people believe it or not, you definitely win. Because the battle belongs to God. Again, the battle belongs to God. The battle belongs to God. And he'll fight your battle for you. All that Jehoshaphat did, immediately he heard it. The Bible says that Jehoshaphat has begun to seek God in your distress, in, in your time of distress, in your pain, your trouble. Where do you go for help? There are people who sit in the church, they go to the shrine. That is why they are making this end time false prophet rich. Because they'll, you go to them and they will lie to you. They will lie to you. Somebody will tell you before your face, I entered into your mother's family. I entered here. And what begin to tell you, the color of your underwear, begin to tell you, your phone number, begin to tell you, your, your, your car number, and then you begin to jump. You begin to jump. They are so stressed. God don't need to prove to you before he tells you. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> don't, don't let them scam you. <laughs> in the name of the Lord. I pray in the name of Jesus. Joseph has said God. And the Bible says that the word of God came to Joseph. In 2 Corinthians 20. And he said, Hakini, O Judah. And the inhabitants of Jerusalem, the king Jehoshaphat, that saith the Lord unto you, Behold, be not afraid, nor be dismayed by the reason of this great multitude, for the battle is of the Lord. Somebody listen. You've been fighting and fighting and fighting. You've been talking and talking and talking. Hey, this, this, I have learned not to talk. I have learned not to talk. Somebody said, silence means concern. Hey, and again, somebody says, silent can never be misquoted. Hey, let your mouth be shut. The Bible says we should be quick to hear, but to slow to speak. The battle is belong, belongs to God. That sickness, that, that problem, that, is there are people, the women, they are not barren, but somebody somewhere, look at how beautiful you are, how your family is, and decide to, to spiritually fight you through barrenness. The only way you can fight them is to allow God pray. Somebody say, oh, Pastor, I've been praying, I've been praying. Continue to pray. Your day of glory will come. Your day of honor will come. Your Jesus will one day stand upon his throne and give you victory. Continue to pray. He never lied. He will definitely give you victory in the name of Jesus Christ. And maybe your children, the children that you are growing. Somebody said, we Africans, our children, our, our, our social security. And so you have banked your hope and everything in your children. But these children are stepping out of the way. You see your children, their life being destroyed. Listen to me. Listen to me. Woman, listen to me. No child will say, I want to destroy my life. No child will just stand up and say, I want to destroy my life. Let me tell you. Once I was working, we had a project. We were building a Marriott Hotel in Virginia. And I was there. I, I was on that project. And I was there. But three guys came to seek job. And they wanted, uh, they needed a job. And so I was the first person to bump into me. And the guy came to me. I looked at the guy and I said, I said it in a Ghanaian language. I said it in our language. I said, ah, but something more thing. We are not here for fair fair idea. We are brought on here and we are more. We are brought on look at how life has ended them. I said it in our language because I have compassion on people. I pray for them. Immediately I said that, that the boy, the leader, said me again and you. I cried that day. I cried that day. I was looking at his face. I was crying. You know the reason why I was crying? There is a saying in our language. 
That is stupid say it, it is it is somebody, it is my brother, it's not me. It can be you. It can be you. It can be you. There are children and the uh, energetical and wise children that are going wayward because somebody will destroy an envious mother, an envious father, an envious, envious brother, somebody somewhere will destroy. I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll be able to stand in prayer and affect and destroy every work of the enemy. There are wicked people around, people who don't feel sympathy. My brother was telling me, my brother was telling me yesterday, he said he don't understand that there are people who destroy, want to destroy life. And they'll go down and sit down and, and eat. I said, don't worry. He, he was telling me that a family that lives close by, a family that lives close by, they were going on a, a, a tour, an American. You know, they love traveling. His wife, they love traveling. They go. And when they were traveling, they have they buy a GMC new new truck, a new one. They bought a new truck, a beautiful truck, and they left it. They left it. They came from. They, they came back. Somebody have hijacked the truck and taken all the four tires away. They have taken it away. I pray in the name of Jesus that battle belongs to God. There is somebody you are sit, sleeping on your your your, your sick bed. Somebody is happy. Remember, Jesus said the devil came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. You have to stand up. Again, let me tell you. You can never control what somebody has to think. You have no control. You have no control about what the demons will gather together and plan about your life. You cannot. You don't have any control about anybody. The one thing that you have control is yourself. That is why you have to stand up in the power of the Bible. Says we should resist the devil. And you have to resist the devil. You, you have to stand up in the power of the Holy Ghost. There are people they will sit down until they are crushed before they wake up. There are people when they even hear us pray, praying and preaching, they will insult us. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you wake up. Don't just fall into the pit before you call for help. You have to begin to, to embrace the pit and make a bridge and walk over it. David said, but my God, I have run through a troop and I have leap over a wall. His soul came to a point to destroy his life. But because he has faith in God, he was saved. I pray in the name of Jesus. Jehoshaphat and his men <laughs> All they did is to say God Is to say God My brother, my sister Child of God Whom are you seeking? Where are you looking to? Where? <laughs> All that the Bible tells us in Ephesians Chapter 6 verse 10 I love that scripture I say finally my brethren I love that scripture Be strong in the Lord and his mighty power When you are strong in the Lord And the power thereof it does not matter the waves and the storm that blows around you. He is always there for you. Because he, he, he is able. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 4. That for our weapons are of our warfare. They are not carnal. They are not flesh. But have divine power to the pulling down of every stronghold. Stand up this battle. The battle in life belongs to God. Wage it well in the in this end time Christians because of laziness everybody wants somebody and so you want to go pay money pay money give everything that somebody will pray for you is a lie I, I, God who told me I was praying the end time Christian Christianity the lies that the devil has used to lie many is the anointing oil is the anointing oil <laughs> you see the anointing oil. 
Mm -hmm. Somebody will say, why pastor, is, this, is the anointing not oil no good? I am not saying that it is no good. But the devil has made it the way they use it. A pastor cannot pray without anointing oil. And you go, they will, they will, they will dress anointing oil. I know a, a prophet. Yeah, you are not the white handkerchief. I body come. I know I'm school. I pray in the name of Jesus. And people will go home instead of praying, they will be wiping their 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 their, their, their self and their doors with anointing oil. Thinking God is in the anointing oil. Who told you? Jesus even himself said, "In this life, we will have trouble, but He has overcome the world." Your faith. When you read, when you read James, he says that the prayer of faith, the prayer of faith will save you. You see that? Somebody is angry when he hears the word of God. All you need to do is submit yourself therefore to God, my brother, my sister, submit to God. Praise the devil. He will flee from you. Only, only resist him. The word of God came to Zerubbabel and said that do not be afraid tomorrow. Listen, that is why one thing I tell you, if a lazy Christian will fail, in this life, lazy Christians, <laughs> this, this, counselor, this counselor said something that is so funny. He said, when you go into the, into the church, you see people, people, young boys, instead of standing up, going to work, they sit in the church and you go to, especially my country, Ghana, you go to Nigeria, you go, and then you ask them, he says that they, they are prayer towers, they sit in the church and pray. You lose this life. It is not biblical. It is not a hand. A hand that does not work you cannot for it. Yes, that is why you go into the house of God. They could nine with the pastor to rob people daylight and brought daylight. No, a girl that was robbing them, and there were a lot of people surrounding. And now you still find people, men of God, who stand in the pulpit to support that corrupt behavior. They stand in the pulpit. No wonder Jesus said, no, 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 not everyone that say, Lord, Lord, will enter into the kingdom of God. But they that do the will of God. I am talking about the battle belongs to God. The word of God came to them to arise. He said, tomorrow, <laughs> march against them. Go ye down against them. Behold, they come up by the crimes of Zeth. And you shall find them at the end of the brook before the wilderness of Jordan. And ye shall not need not to fight this battle. Set yourself, stand ye still, and you see salvation. Listen, my brother, my sister. The first thing is that you have to arise. The second thing he said, that set yourself. I have never seen anybody, anybody who wants to be be a lawyer, and all of a sudden will rise up and say, I'm a lawyer. I have never seen anybody who wants to be an architect. And I come down and say, hey, you have to go, you have to go through. It's only it's my story I job that everybody, anybody will take. Recently I see, I, I, I saw a young boy preaching in, in Ghana and he was insulting. He was in there I said, look at them. My brother, my sister, I don't know if I, the God that we serve, if the God that we serve is different. You have to apologize. If you step in sin, you have to go back. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ, my brother, my sister, child of God, to do the will of God. And every day God will fight your battle for you. They have to, one, they have to arise. Two, they have to set themselves in order. Three, they have to be still. The Bible says, be still and know that I am God. When you are still, you find your position. Go on or fight your battle for you. Be still and know. When you stand still, you see the salvation of God. God told the Israelites in Exodus 14, 14 and 15, stand still and you see the salvation. This Egyptian, you see, you will see them no more because the battle belongs to God. The same person who is on the sick bed, the same person is insulting the gospel and is against the gospel. You think you are going to get healing? You think you are going to get healing? You sit down. Because thinking that there is no God. 
I pray in the name of Jesus. Jehoshaphat bowed his head with his face to the ground. And all Judea and inhabitants of Jerusalem fell before the Lord and worshipped the Lord. They worshipped the Lord. They worshipped the Lord. And he takes people who understand the spirit. <laughs> to do just according to the spirit. Do you know the Bible says, For I have not seen, nor he has heard, what God has prepared for us, but it has been revealed to us by the spirit of God. The spirit that searches all things, even the deeper things of God. He takes those who have the spirit of God. Those who know our Lord Jesus Christ. He is king and he's coming. If you don't know his name, let me mention his name loud to your ears. His name is Jesus Christ. The Bible says in him is life and that life is the light of man. His name is Jesus Christ. The devil gets angry and his cohorts, his, his demons, his angels and his workers get angry when they hear the name of Jesus Christ. Some people can even kill because of the name Jesus Christ. There is power in the name. Somebody sang a song and say, Oh, I love Jesus because he first loved me. There is a name so sweet to hear. It sounds so sweet. And that name is Jesus Christ. Seek Jesus and you find salvation for your soul. He will preach and he will continue to preach. Paul said to live is Christ Jesus and to die is gain. He is the only way. Jesus is the only way. Seek him. You find salvation for your soul. He will never disappoint you. Yes, I, I thank God that poor David said it. He has been young and now old, never seen the righteous. Some of us, we have never seen the righteous forsaken by the Lord Jesus. I am not saying trouble will not come. I am not saying <laughs> the storm will not blow. Whether you like it or not, when it is winter, winter will come. When it is summer, summer will come. In Ghana we have autumn. In Ghana we have Amatan. We are there in front of the poor. We have a poor. How the poor? There's one who will not be ready. One who will not be ready. One who will not be used to it. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into. Peter was just to tell and announce before the Sanhedrin and the congregation that there is no name given unto man to be saved except the name of Jesus Christ. The name saved. The name bring it in. The name make life. It takes, it takes the stupid and the foolish from nowhere and make them somebody. I pray in the name of Jesus that you come to the Lord for him to wage your battle for you. Live it and you'll fight it. The Bible says, And Israel rose early in the morning, went forth in the wilderness of Tokyo. Why? Because they obeyed God. Hey, the secret in Christianity is obedience. Just obey God. Just obey God. It is, it is not them telling you, you are going to receive heaven. Hey, I have read the Bible very carefully. And I've seen it's obeying in the word of God. Deuteronomy 28 say, And it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. If you hearken not to the voice and you do just, just what we have been commanded, this blessing will come and overtake you. Meaning that before you get there, the blessing is over there. The blessing is over there. My prayer for you, a child that is listening to me, somebody that is listening to me, that you begin to obey. Let's trust God. Let's trust God. Let's trust God. Just trust God. Just do. One day, our Jesus will come. One day will be your day. Tell me, Christ will never tell me. At the chair, at the chair, we will not yam. And at the chair, we will not yam. So man, at the chair, we yam. We will not. One morning, God will visit you. He will visit you. Don't give up. Hey, at your last breath, at your last breath, continue to believe Him. Continue to believe the Lord Jesus. He is faithful. He's faithful. Somebody will hear the word of God and begin to laugh. He says, this guy, guy normal. We are the most happiest people. We are normal. We know the Lord. We know life. We know. Because we know the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> we know the Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> I pray that you see what we see. Paul encountered Jesus and, and told his followers and everything. I have done. I have seen the, the one that sought me and found me and have chosen me. 
Not everybody can come to Jesus. Jesus did not come for everybody. Jesus did not come for everybody. Not everybody will receive Jesus. Except those. <laughs> Nicodemus went to Jesus. And Jesus said, except a man be born again. How do someone be born again? Someone who has served Lord, has served Jesus as his Lord and personal Savior. Some people don't want to have anything to do with Jesus. They don't want to hear anything about Jesus. You have your choice. You have your right. You can do anything. But the Bible says that he is coming. One day, one day you face it. I have never seen any man on earth that says I'm not going to die because of my money. Let me ask you. Have you ever seen somebody who have died and <laughs> they will be taking the person the person to the cemetery and you have a, a u-haul attached to his casket uh, in america would call it you i don't know if it's in germany or europe maybe you also have you all or you you have another name attached to his casket or convoy that is taking him or her to the cemetery with all her belongings <laughs> Job said we brought nothing into this world and neither will we take nothing. You want to die. You want to leave this earth. But after death there is judgment. Somebody say I don't believe it. You sit down. You, you sit down. You sit down and think that the little knowledge that you have in education, the little money that you have, the things, the things, the, the house that you have, you have built. The house. <laughs> give yourself, give yourself about 20 years or 30 years that house, even your children will not like that house I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that somebody will believe in the Lord all that Jehoshaphat and his men did was to wake up and begin to take a step of faith and the Bible said they went forth Jehosha, uh, they went forth <laughs> and stood and said here, O you Judah, inhabitants of Jerusalem, believe in the Lord. And, believe, and when you say, listen, he said, believe in the Lord your God, so ye shall be established. If you want to be established, believe in the Lord. He said, believe in his prophets, so you shall prosper. Not this entire prophet, evil prophets, <laughs> that they are everywhere. All they need is money. <laughs> and the sad thing is that most of them have bleached themselves. They have bleached themselves because the devil will give you a command. <laughs> they are evil. I thank God. Believe in them. If you want to establish, if you want to prosper, believe in the people that preach the true word of God to you. Preach. Believe in them. Believe in them. I pray in the name of Jesus. <laughs> somebody will get angry and don't want to hear they don't want to hear when you talk about it they don't want to hear they get angry you can get angry you can you can you can destroy <laughs> you can destroy everything in your room it is up to you i was listening to a man and he said anger is like it's like <laughs> emotionally torturing yourself harming yourself because of somebody somewhere and so when you get angry, you harm yourself and destroy yourself because of the truth and the fact of the word of God. I pray in the name of Jesus. Jesus is coming and he has a reward. God bless you, Nana, for always putting us through. You see, Papa Bright, Papa Bright have been doing the work and now the children are also doing it. It is a ch children that even um, so that you hear that word of God. We pray that God will continue to bless you. And, uh, God bless you and God increase you. May the Lord open the heavens unto you. And everything that you are doing for the kingdom of God will be a key for you and your family in the name of Jesus Christ. You have suffered the much. He said, believe in them. And when they have consulted with the people, they appointed singers unto the Lord. And to praise the beauty of his holiness as they went out before the army to say praise the Lord for his mercy all that they did was they came to praise God it is not normal it is not normal 
Hey, when people are coming against you with guns, they are coming against you with saw bolts and arrows. They are coming against you with swords. They have, they have put on the, they are, they are, they are world gears and they are coming against you. And then you, the Israelites said that we are, we are going to sing praises and we are going to, it is no, no normal, it's abnormal. The things of God, that is why the Bible says that he takes the foolish things of this world to shame the wise. To shame the wise. To shame the wise. I pray in the name of Jesus that you will understand that not, you cannot understand the things of God. <laughs> Take the spirit to understand the spirit. Come to Jesus. When you come to Jesus, you understand it and you know the reason why. Our joy, we are every day happy and we are smiling in every adversity. We continue to move on in the power of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord grant you success. My brother, my sister, child of God that is listening to me, Jesus is coming back. He stood before them and the Bible says that he began to praise God. And let's see. Let's see when they began to praise God. I am reading from Second Chronicles, Chronicles chapter twenty-two. He said, "And when they began to sing and to praise the Lord, the Lord, the Lord set ambush. The Lord Himself, I thank God for God." Why a friend of mine said, it. "I thank God for God." When they begin. We come to sing song. It is not normal. If somebody is come to fight you, it's time for the come to, and bring him. Then he said that let's go and sing and let's go and praise God. Hey, we are praising God. That is why there are people when they see us preaching the gospel, talking about the gospel, they think that it is not true. They begin to laugh. Because you cannot understand the things of God with your mind. Except you allow yourself Except you accept him as your Lord and personal Savior, <laughs> then you begin. You have illumination. I pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will understand. They said they, they began to sing and they, they, they went forward. And as they went forward, and they said, they said, against the Lord set an ambush against the Amorites, the Moab, the monks in a witch came against Judah and they smit each other. They started fighting themselves. May God cause confusion among your enemies. Again, I pray in the name of Jesus that God will cause confusion among your enemies. May the Lord set ambush against them in the name of Jesus. The people who sat in your villages sat in their homes sat everywhere and begin to think about your children, think about your wife, think about your husband, think about you. May the Lord set confusion. The Bible says that, and the Lord God, I love it, the Lord God has set ambush against the children of Amorites, Moab and Mount Sinai, which were came against Judah, and they, smit, they were smitten. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Sinai, utterly slain and destroyed them. And when they had made an end of the inhabitant of Seir, one helped to destroy another. They begin to help to destroy another. Somebody that is listening to me, all you need is to position yourself in the Lord. I am not talking about going to church. Yes, it is good to go to church. I am not talking about holding the Bible or preaching the gospel. Yes, it is good to preach the gospel and hold the Bible. I am talking about those who are born again. Those who have changed their life, those who live a righteous life, those who rest and lean upon Him. The Bible says we should not trust, we should trust in the Lord, and we should not lean on our own understanding. In everything, we should acknowledge Him. He will direct our paths. They destroy themselves. My prayer is that yeah, your enemies, somebody that is planning to destroy your entire family, may the Lord destroy them. If only you you will know and, and position yourself. <laughs> Colossians 3 and the verse 3 says that for you are dead, your life is hidden in Christ Jesus. And so before they want to destroy you, they have to go to God. They have to go to Jesus. If they will be able to destroy Jesus, they will have, they have you. His name is Jesus. Again, his name is Jesus. His name is Jesus Christ. 
May you win every battle in Jesus' name. And when Joseph and his people came to take away, he said that, and when Judah came to us, the watchtower in the wilderness, they looked unto the multitude, and behold, there were dead bodies falling to the earth, and none escaped. <laughs> When somebody hears it, he says, you will say that the people will write story for you and you believe. <laughs> I thank God for his word. Second, first, let me go. Let me go read the scripture for you. Let me go read the scripture. Let me go to Timothy 3. And I read verse 16. Listen to me. Second Timothy 3 verse 16. Say, all scripture are given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction. In righteousness, the scripture, the word of God is given to us. Joseph and his men got there. And the Bible says that they were going, they were going for war. They were going <laughs> to fight. But when they got there, let me read verse 25 and 26. I will pray. He said, When Jehoshaphat and his people came to take away the spoil of them they found among them in abundance both riches with the dead bodies and precious jewels and they were stripped off for them more than they could carry away and they were three days in gathering of the spoil as much <laughs> three days three days <laughs> i don't understand <laughs> at times you you cannot understand people who were coming to fight people who were coming to wage war, they brought everything and they ended up. Jehoshaphat, somebody who was going to fight, ended up bringing spawn, bringing goodies into the house. Why? Because he seeked the Lord, he sought the Lord. The Bible says, We should seek him where he will be found and call upon him while he's near. Understand, my brother, my sister. The Bible says everything went together for good for those who love God. There is a condition. There is a condition. The Bible says for those together for those who love God and those who are called according to His purpose. God has a purpose for your life. And so the word of God is not for everybody. It's for those who believe. Somebody, somebody say you don't understand. You say that go to town. Those that will believe the word of God through our Lord Jesus Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you 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 will not fear. You stand firm and see the salvation. The same word, the same word that came to Joseph at that they should stand still and when they stand still they will see the salvation of god the same sweat came to the israelites when they got to the red sea <laughs> and you mean i want to jinapinti member about jinapinti unia jinapinti stand firm and don't give up it may not seem seems right it may not look right somebody send me a, a devotional where they say that if plan A fails, remember there are other 25 alphabets begin to, to take another course and in this life you win. Appreciate the life that God has given to you. And when you do appreciate it, you win. You win this battle. Jehoshaphat and his men, the Bible said they took spoils and for three good days, three good days, three good days, they continue to gather. May the Lord cause you to gather. And may the Lord prosper you. May he cause you to succeed in all that you are doing. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Find a church. Find a church. Don't listen to people. Don't listen to people who are around you. Don't listen to them. Jesus Christ is for you. Again, uh, you cannot control which church somebody wants to go, what they want to do with their life. But one thing that you have control over your life. Proverbs 25, 28 says that a man who has no control by his spirit is like a city without a wall. You have to be able to control your life and your spirit. And God will give you success in this life. 
we have success. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ that you choose furniture. Say, Lord Jesus, today I accept you as my Lord and personal Savior. Say, your word says, if anybody be in you, Jesus, he's a new creature. All things are past and everything become new. As I've accepted you and become your child, we order my steps until you come and call me from this earth in Jesus' name. Somebody say amen. Find a church, go to a church. Don't go to there are some churches you don't see Christ. You don't see Christ. You know me, Jesus. They use the name of Jesus, they use it, and they do everything but their attitude, their lifestyle. They don't show go to a whereby you hear the word of God. You come home change. You come home change. And the Lord bless you. Amen. There are some of them they wish to be like us that we have not diluted the word of god they have positioned themselves at a place that everybody every hand is clapping from them for them they clapping for them but inwardly they are crying they are pain they are they have a lot of regrets because they've sold their soul to the devil they haven't forbid they do not forbid and continue to give us success in the name of Jesus, begin to thank God. Just open your mouth and let's thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you. Bless the Lord. Somebody thank the Lord. Just open your mouth and begin to thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you. Say, I thank you for my life. I thank you, Jesus, for your death on the cross and the resurrection. I thank you. Open your mouth and begin to thank God. Bless the Lord. Say, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. Bless the name of our Lord Jesus. Bless the name of our Lord Jesus. Just say, Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Open your mouth and thank the Lord. Father, we thank you. We bless you. Somebody thank the Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 Zika do Borona Briadaba, Epanda da Boje Kada Borona Briadaba. Somebody pray, open your mouth and pray, just call the name of Jesus, Eboje Kata Boje Branda Zu Corona Briadaba, Epanda da Branda Zinde Deba. Thank God, bless the name of our Lord Jesus. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Thank the Lord, bless the name of our Lord. Bless him for another day. Hey, hey, just thank him for your children. Thank God for your children. Thank God for your wife. Thank God for your husband. Thank God for a brother. Thank God for a sister. Thank God. Say, Lord, I thank you. Hey, to see another day in our generation is to see a year. Just thank God. Many are dying. Many are dying. And everything in this world is against life. Open your mouth and say, Thank you, Jesus. We are thanking God for His faithfulness, for His love. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord. I bless you. I give you all the praise. I give you glory. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. His name is Jesus. Again, we are praying. We're going to pray our first prayer. We're going to pray our first prayer. That we are lifting up prayer against every arrow, every word the enemy is fighting in your life. There are people, many people, that the enemy has already <laughs> invaded your territories, your life. They have invaded, they, are, they, have, they are using sickness, they have sown the seed, that demonic covenant, demonic altar, the shrines, go to Africa, go to Africa, somebody said uh, that was uh, 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 Americans, come to America, you never see any demonic shrine, I have never gone to a family and see a shrine, but go to Africa, I can testify of it, my own mother's family and father's family, you go there, it is there right now, you go there, and they worship in the stones, how can African, African, we are praying 
<laughs> maybe they have already invaded and they are destroyed. We are going to take our stand. We are going to take a stand still. Our first prayer, we are going to pray that every demon, every witch, every demonic altar, demonic covenant, demonic rituals that have been performed, curses that has already invaded our territory. When I talk about your territory, I'm talking about your life, your family life has already invaded and it's causing harm. We pray in the name of Jesus. The Bible says, whatever we bind shall be bind. And anything we lose shall be loose. We are driving every demon, every witch that have already entered our territories, our lives, our family, our marriages, our, our children. We are praying the Father, we command the Holy Spirit to live right now. To let them we command them to live our lives right now. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every demonic covenant every spirit, every demon every witch that have invaded your territory, your life your destiny, let fire look at them so be pure all them pure, be here to be pure and invade your life let the fire of God begin to rain fire, begin to rain fire begin to rain fire open your mouth and say Lord I command fire into any demonic camp, witchcraft comes witchcraft altars, witchcraft Voodoo's demonic, demonic. Yes, so much. Come on, anymore. Yes, so Christ, so much. Come on, anymore. Yes, so much. Come on, I strike you with the blood of Jesus. I command the blood, the power that is in the blood, the name of Jesus, to strike you in the name of Jesus, wherever they are. Open your mouth and wage war. Pray in the power of the Holy Ghost. Every demon, every witch, every spirit that has invaded your territory to destroy invaded your life there are people they have already invaded and have sown the seed of sickness a seed of pain a seed of disgrace a seed of retrogression backwardness in life how we are praying in the power of the holy ghost and in the name of jesus call the name call the name call the name that name is jesus use the name the bible said the name of the lord is a strong tower pray in that name pray in the name is a boronda ragadaba say jesus i commit my life my soul my body every seed that the enemy has sown every life that they have invaded in my children's life in my home i pray in the name of jesus right now remember the bible says we shall resist the devil and they will resist them command them to leave command them to leave there are a lot of places throughout the world there are a lot of families throughout the world man knows you woman listen to me man knows your family pray and command demons which is a wizard to live your life right now right now in the name of jesus 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 in the name of Jesus, and the coron of Riadaba is the branda de Bojeka da Bada Branda. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, we are praying again. Maybe they have already entered their son a seat. Maybe you are in your sick bed, and all you hear in your ears, the sound that you hear in your ears, that death has gotten closer to you you think that you are going to die because of your sickness i have good news for you you will not die you need to see the salvation we are going to pray healing for you we are going to pray in the power of the holy ghost every demonic sickness hey that is traced from the family it has become a family sickness that is devouring the family one by one minus you in the name of jesus maybe somebody somewhere has sown a seed of barrenness within your spirit and it is causing the family you are a very energetic beautiful but yes uh, you'll be praying many years for the fruit of the womb hey, i want to pray with you i want to pray with you there are maybe your children have ten and have have ten towards a different way of life 
and it has become a pain within your spirit you have nothing to do it is god that that draw people back hey god told peter to launch into the deep and he called god is going to launch your people or your children that you think that they are wayward god will bring them you can add it and add maybe you have been in overseas do you know there are many people that they work hey there are people who do strange jobs but believe you me they cannot do anything they cannot save and after they finish they build houses they themselves cannot sleep in and they will die hey that is a, 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 a work of slavery the devil will, will enslave you you work hard but you will not enjoy it you have to enjoy the fruit of your neighbor that are demonic seeds we are praying every seed everyone everything that is holding your life he causing you pain have enslaved your life let that spirit live you right now right now right now right now in the name of jesus let that sickness that spirit of diabetes that spirit of cancer strong that spirit live your life right now that cancer spirit live your life right now in the name of jesus back to the center wherever it is coming from that let that be let that disgrace everyone that have shown the spirit of disgrace this of stubbornness back to the center we command us right now in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray, woman, pray and say, I command that sickness right now. Leave my life on your sick bed. I pray for you, woman. I pray for you, man. I command healing. I pray that that sickness, that spirit of cancer, that diabetes, every demonic sickness in the blood right now, I command it in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name. Rakata Bojan de Tebranta Zuha, a bande de Branda, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I pray healing. Let our sickness leave your body right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, in the blood. Rakata Bojan de Tebranta Zuha, a banda da Branda Zu Corona Briadaba, a banda da Broca de Boje Branda Zika. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the corona briada boji kadama, reka da bojanta da branda zene, e papa pa, somebody pray, o pio manfe pray, say Lord, I command your Holy Spirit to enter my life, enter my children, enter my family, and drive every demon away, drive every pain, every trouble, drive them away, command them to live your life right now. Command them to leave your family right now. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Eboja kata branda zuko rono briada ba. Dekane de moronda briada ba. Ebanda da banda zibrande korono briada ba. In the name of Jesus. Eboje branda zuko rono briya kade bojeta. Zibranda da boje kata borono briada ba. Zipaye kata bonda da ba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, again, okay, we are lifting up a prayer. The Bible says, uh, Greetings to you, my brother. Matt. The Bible says, When the children of Moab and the children of Amorites and the, the Mount what God did that God said confusion confusion among them you are going to pray that Lord I don't know where they have guarded against my life I don't know what the, the, the enemy is planning that is your prayer but as God said confusion among the, the, the Amorites, the Moab and the Mount Sion, the Bible said God set ambush against them. They set ambush against each other. Let me go read it back to you. I am going to read it and, and for your hearing. And it, it says that uh, verse 23 for the children of Amor. Um, let me start from verse 22 it says and when they began to sing a praise God the Lord set ambush against the children of Ammon Moab and Mount Zion which were coming against Judah and they were smitten for the children of Ammon and Moab stood up against the inhabitants of Mount Zion and all time slain them and destroyed them and when they had made an end 
they destroy. You are praying that God, every, you are praying into the demonic witchcraft comes. You pray into the villages, pray into uh, uh, your neighborhood, pray into your community, pray into the church. Now the church, the witches and the wizards are in the church more than any other place. Pray to the church, pray to your family, pray everywhere. That God, every demonic gathering, may you set confusion, may they begin to speak themselves. Let God set confusion among your enemies. <laughs> Let God, you said, we are praying the prayer of Jehoshaphat and Judah. That God sent confusion. You, you may not know where they are. You may not know their hiding place. And you don't know how, what they have gathered concerning your life. But this you have. That you cause God to cause confusion. Let them destroy themselves. Say it in the name of Jesus. Say it. Say it. Say it in the name of Jesus. By the reason of the shed blood of our Lord Jesus. Every demonic gathering. Every secret gathering. From the camp of the witches. From the camp of the God, From the camp of the sorcerers. From the camp of the, the, the fetish race. From the camp of evil men and women. From your neighbor. From your community. From your family. As God set confusion among the Amorites and the Moabites and the Mount Sinai, so God set confusion and let them smit themselves. Let them smit themselves in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Pray a prayer of faith. Pray a prayer of faith. And you are not praying. You are setting them confusion among them. Set confusion in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost begin to deal with them, each and every one. Wherever hole they are in, wherever they are setting, wherever they are sleeping. Everywhere, every demonic covenant, every witchcraft covenant. Oh, de in the name of Jesus, in the name of your mouth. A child of God, you don't need to fail this life. You don't need to fail because if you don't pray, somebody somewhere, because of that evil spirit, will cause you to fail. There are many envious and jealous family members, friends, and brothers, sisters everywhere. People life are, are many are dying many are in pain many are failing this life because of somebody somewhere hey israel judah could have lost because of mount zion because of amorites and the moon they said themselves god did not destroy them yes they turn against them we are praying in the name of jesus in the name say lord said confusion among my enemies among every demonic gathering against your life against your children against your husband against your brother your sister against yourself in the name of jesus say lord i am not going to die i am not going to feel this life i am not going to be a loser lord i stand in the power of the holy ghost on behalf of our listeners those who are living in sickness oh jesus oh jesus papa you say we should be still and know that you are god visit them heal the sick that spirit of diabetes, I command it to leave the body, the cancer. I command it, the stroke, the hypertension. We pray in the name of Jesus in the blood, the blood, the blood. Rika da bojante de branda, corona ba, zibrande de ba. Let God send confusion among the witches and the wizard. Let God send confusion among the gods. Let God send confusion among the sorcerers, the witches and the wizards, the food of the demons. The Bible says our weapons, they are not carnal. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of every demonic struggle. Lift up your voice in the power of the Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus. Be one who will be the Jesus Christ of the demons. Not because of the Jesus who will come anymore. Who will be the Jesus 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 who want you to fear. Let fire look at them. Let tender look at them. Pray in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and pray. Let the confusion that said, Look at the bojan tatabra. Zika do boje branda. In the name of Jesus. 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 Somebody sang a song. They say there is power. Underworking power. In the blood of the Lord, 
the lamp. We are using, we are going to use the blood. We are going to go to the Israelites to mark their doorposts. As you cover yourself with the blood, you are going to command the blood everywhere. There are many that are dying, many are feeling. The child of God, listen to me. There are people who are dying, families that have been destroyed, homes that have been destroyed, marriages that have been destroyed. People, uh, they will come to you thinking that uh, they are your loved ones, but they come. They are very wicked. They are very wicked. If it is so that somebody will not take a gun, a gun for his selfish interest, go to a family and take uh, money or something and kill the husband. Kill the husband. And leave the children orphans. Leave the children orphans. Leave the children orphans. And go home, sleep and eat and rejoice whilst another family continue to, to suffer. There's wickedness all around. People don't care. We have come in a generation. The Bible said it and it's true. He said, in this last day, perennial time, difficult times will come. Men will be lovers of themselves. They love themselves. They don't care about you. Again, it, again, it is you. There are people who don't value their lives. There are people who don't value their lives. Somebody said, a cow will never value its tail until it is cut off. It is not cut off. It is cut off. A to, a to, a to convulse a man, do a baby, do you know what he and so cow does not follow uh, know that how important he still is until it is cut off my brother my sister value your life value your life you wait we are going to pray again pray again and let the blood of jesus christ be a permanent wall of fire around you protect you let your war be around you in the name of jesus Let's let's go and pray with this scripture. Let's let's go and pray with this scripture. Job chapter one. Job chapter one. And now we pray verse verse eight. We pray verse eight. He said the Lord said, Have you considered my son Job? And there is none like him. And Satan said, verse ten, he said, Had that not made a hedge about him, about his household, about all that he has on every side? And had bless the works of his son, and so we are praying that let God build the hedge around us, let the blood of Jesus be a permanent wall of fire around us. Never again will the enemy invade our territories and come and fool and destroy and destroy. May it open your mouth and let's pray our last prayer. Say, Lord. Lord Jesus, let the blood be a permanent wall of fire around my life, around my children's life, around my substance, everything. Lift up your voice in the power of the Holy Ghost and in the name of Jesus and command the power that is in the blood, the blood that was shed on Calvary Cross to be a permanent wall of fire around you in the name of Jesus, 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 the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus Christ. de Debra, Pandizika do Borona, eta boje kata boja branda zi, e boja kata borone priada ba. In the name of Jesus, in the blood, reka da boje ne de branda zukoro, e boje kata borone priada ba. Somebody pray with us. Open your mouth and say the blood. Let the blood be a permanent wall of fire. And let the blood around you, around your life, around your family's life. In the name of Jesus. Let the blood of Jesus, the blood, the blood. Let the blood be a permanent wall of fire. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, somebody pray. Rekata bojente te branda zukoro, e bojanti kada borondi ba, e papa na da branda zukoro. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood, the blood, the corona riada ba. We pray in the name, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the name of Jesus. 
Use the blood. Cover yourself with the blood. Soak yourself with the blood. Soak the children. Their soul, their spirit. Soak your family. Hey, God told the Israelites to mark their doorposts with the blood. When the spirit that destroy, when you see the blood, you pass over. Hey, no demon can penetrate or get closer to the blood. Cover yourself. Cover your children. Cover your wife. Cover your husband. Cover your children. Hell with the blood of Jesus. Say, Lord, I cover my son, my spirit, my soul with your blood. Raka de Boja Branda Ze. Papa Papa de de Boronda. Zikorono Briada Boshen de de Bandaraba. Ekando de Boronda Briada Boshi Kadaba. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. Zikorono Boronda Briada Ba. Ekando de Boronda Briada Boshi Kadaba. E Papa Nada Boronda Briada Boshi Kadaba. In the name of Jesus. Opio Mafe pray. Pray. Pray out. Pray everywhere. Let God enter every source, every corner. Let your prayer go. Walk every place and destroy. In the name of Jesus. In the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood, the blood. The blood, the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We are praying our last prayer. We want to pray with you. Somebody that is listening to me. Let's pray this prayer. I want to intercede for you. I want to intercede. Let this prayer be a key and bring testimony into your life. Let the Lord open the heavens unto you. In the name of Father, we pray. I will commit our listeners, our viewers, Papa, others who are watching us from everywhere. Father, they trust in you, not in us. They trust in you. That is what they are listening to. You. I pray that Lord visit them, visit individual, their secret, their homes, and they get to work on their behalf. Strike every enemy that contend with them. Fight against demons, witches that contend with them in their homes in their lives, in their children's life, in their family's life. Father, give them victory. Give them testimony. You are the miracle working God. Work a miracle in their life. Bring testimonies. Every spirit, any demon, any witch that has been an enemy to their growth, that has an enemy to their breakthrough, enemy to their healing. I pray in the name of Jesus. I command Angel Michael into their homes, into their territory, into their lives. I command you to go win every battle as you won and the throne rather win for them win for them in the name of Jesus Zika da Borona Eboje kada Borona Zika da Daba Eboje kada da Borona Bria Daba Ekorono Bria da Boje kada Daba Ezebrando do Borono Bria da Boje kada Daba in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus, Zika the Boron of Yaraba. Oh Lord, I thank you, Jesus. I thank you. I bless you. In Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you, everyone that is watching us from far and near. Please share our messages for us. Share it. We do not that we want to train, but we want to win souls. We want to win souls. In this end time, we know not everybody. Many do not want to be listen to the true word of God, but the few that God has given to us to lead them the right way to heaven. Let's all work together. Let's all work together. Let's all do it together. Our day of glory will come. May the Lord bless you. Let me thank God for my big sister, Sister Adelaide. God bless you for every day standing with us. Thank you. Thank you, Sister. God bless you. May the Lord cause your faith to be a key and bring every answer to prayer into your life may this week be a week the rest of it, a week of testimony in the name of jesus let me thank uh, old friend and brother that we are all in the usd campus have become friends and brothers for many years uh, brother so for not so so thank you brother for every day standing with us we appreciate you i appreciate you the bond and love that God has put between us. May be a key and bless you, your wife, and your children in the name of Jesus. Let me thank my, bro my brother, 
my twin brother, Pastor Steve, I thank Randy Jr. I thank you and I thank you for you standing with us every day and your family. May the Lord uh, use it as a key and bless you in Jesus' name. Love you all. Bye.